Happy July 20th everyone, I'm Liam and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday we were offered the opportunity to buy a new pet, or uh, pets, plural I suppose if you had the cash, but Ivy decided to keep the bugs she has and save her amber. I think our work here in Saberhold is done and I suspect we will be moving on to try to find the third of the four ancient guardians so that we can heal the spirit of the Tree of Seasons and restore the land before the evil insect army amasses and destroys us all. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I've been thinking we're due for this. You leave Saberhold to begin your journey up into the windless peaks in search of the Guardian of the Sun. The hourglass begins to convulse so intensely that you must stop to take it out or risk losing your footing in the mountains. You set it on the ground to take cover. The once bright shimmer winks in and out before transforming into a vibrant light pulsating with power before an be pulsating with power before an unleashed surge of cursed energy. Yeah, this is the, uh, if you're new to this, this is the hourglass um, that we've been carrying the spirit of the Tree of Seasons in. And it periodically uh, curses us with a, a very, <laughs> uh, it's a pretty devastating curse. Um, but we have a cleansing crystal right so this time uh, if we get cursed we can use our cleansing crystal and uh, so I'm not too worried we'd like to save it if we can but um, here we go we're gonna do two things in order endure the surge it's a constitution roll and channel the energy that's a wisdom roll so here we go constitution 12 plus 2 is 14. A uh, reminder danger sense that gets us to 16. That's the best result. You steel yourself against the powerful corrupted energy, demonstrating resilience. We usually we usually make this roll, which means we don't get hurt. It's only a point or two of damage. And then the next roll is the roll that Ivy always fails. And that's the important one. So uh, here we go. As the surge of corrupted power courses through your body, you must concentrate on maintaining control and preventing the curse from overwhelming you, using your inner strength to resist its adverse effects. So this is a wisdom roll. Arcane Adept. We are not an Arcane Adept, nor do we have anybody in our party who can help with that. Um, but we do have a brilliant hourglass, uh, which gets us a minus if you have brilliant hourglass take a minus one penalty resplendent gain no bonus on this roll that that's not normal usually you get a bonus this is uh okay well <laughs> we're taking minus one it'd be worse if we had a worse hourglass Maybe this is a really severe reaction. It's getting harder and harder to resist the curse, I guess, as we go along. Well, here we go. Wisdom roll. 14. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Um, plus 2 is 16. Minus 1 is 15. That gets us the best result. If the result is 15 or more, you skillfully tap into the corrupted power, guiding and shaping it to subdue its negative effects on you and the world. Okay, excellent. Well, um, if you're playing along and you're cursed today, uh, I feel for you. Um, hopefully everyone has cleansing crystals now that we know what those do. Ivy gets to save hers. Um, Oh, before we go, uh, this is Saturday and Sunday, so we can do the Sunday lottery. Uh, this has us in the mountains, so I guess we've left, we've, we've left Saberhold. So, let's use our cards. This will be fun. 
<clears throat> um, one, two, three. So we're gonna roll six sided die and see what we see what happens here. If we're in town, we just go to the Sunday Lottery office and play. If we're out of town, the rules let you just play, but that's weird to me. So <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. So I've just made up some tables to make this a little more interesting for myself. Um, embrace the nonsensicalness. So, <laughs> a mean little hummingbird. Uh, chewing gum and sporting a baseball cap with the letters SL, which stand for Sunday Lottery, undoubtedly. Emerges from a warbling disturbance in the air. <laughs> and it's it's got a box with a slot in it. We can put two amber in if, and then open the box. Um, and oh, we <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that means we lost our two amber. Uh, where's the rules for the Sunday lottery? Yep, lose two amber. So we put two amber in the box. We open it up. And uh, there's nothing inside. And the mean little hummingbird uh, giggles at us, <laughs> cackles, as hummingbirds are wont to do, and buzzes off back into its warbling disturbance. <laughs> and that, my friends, is July 20th and 21st. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.